All right. YouTube, 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 YouTube. You see, it is currently 626 in the evening to 1919. Um, it's your boy, Big Mike, man. I'm on my way out here to uh, my local Hibbits. Um, I called out there today. They got a size 13 of them infrared six things, man. So I'm going to get me a second pair of them six things, man. Y'all know them infrared sixes are my favorite six. So, uh, yeah, it's raining. Look, a release like this is that serious, baby. With that Nike on the bottom, on the back, I mean, uh, my favorite six is, you know what I'm saying, without question, if you see me post it on Instagram today, this is not a joke. I'm going out here in the rain. 627 at night like i say just gotta work to get my second pair when i get back to the house i'll hook back up with y'all point say hi wave you wave you go yeah what's up youtube it's your boy big mike i'm back with you with a special special pickup um as you seen earlier, I showed you that I was going to Hibbits to pick up my second pair of infrared sixes, which happens to be my favorite Jordan six. All right. Uh, before we, um, yeah, the shoe, you like it? These are the 2014 infrared sixes. Okay, that, in my opinion, I still think is dope. A lot of people are saying that they didn't like this release because of the infrared looking uh, a bit pinkish. And which it does. I mean, who are we kidding? It does look pink on the shoe, but in my opinion, it was still dope. All right. But these 2019 infrared sixes that I went and picked up from Hibbit Sports, shout out to the local Hibbit for being the plug on these. Um, Allow me to have my second pair of infrared sixes. And, uh, where is it, where is it, where is it? Since I haven't done an official review on these, I guess I can go ahead and do that. Can we do that? Hmm? Uh, colorway reads uh, black infrared. This is a size 13 of the Air Jordan 6 Retro, okay? And it comes in your normal uh, six box. So you went all the way OG with it. It has your black uh, trash bag paper inside the box. <sighs> Pulling out these things. Whew. Right off, <laughs> right off, I can tell you that the uh, new buck on this pair is definitely blacker than um, the 2014 pair. And I don't know if that's because years have went by. But my 2014 pair, I've only worn um, around five to six times. And I bought this pair actually in, I think, what, 2017? So this is the 2014, this is the 2019. I don't know if you can even tell the difference on camera, but in hand, these are definitely darker. The infrared is definitely darker. Uh, at least two shades darker on this shoe. Um, they got the shape of the shoe correct. If you notice on this nose here, the shape is more of an OG nose uh, in the point of the shoe. And on this nose, you see it's more of a round box shape of the 2014 model. So Jordan brand definitely nailed, definitely nailed. You see the difference on the back when they put the OG Nike on the back of the shoe. So Jordan brand definitely nailed that. Um, the only thing is that could be the downfall on the shoe. You want to hold the shoe? Here. Yeah. You like it? You approve of it? Yes? Yeah? It's dope, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> she wanted to touch the shoe, y'all. Okay. So the only thing that can be the downfall of the 2019 is that the lace lock is actually still the same exact lace lock that is on the 2014 pair. Same color lace lock is still that light pink lace lock, but everything else they darkened on the shoe. So Jordan brand is paying attention 
They are listening to everything we say. They are listening to everything we say. They put the icy blue so on. Yeah, you keep on saying yeah. They put the icy blue so on. There's no difference in that. But the shape of the shoe and the color of the new book is definitely different. All right, YouTube. So I want to give you an up close look. Up close and personal. You see, that's the 2014, all right? The colors are hard to see because I got the light shining to give you a visual on the shoe, but you see the jump man on the back. That's that's one of the main differences, okay? And you see the Nike Air on the back of the 2019. Now, everybody's done comparison videos, but not many people are hitting on the fact that, all right, and I call these ears, okay? I call these pieces right here on the six ears. Now, <clears throat> The 2019's uh, Jordan brand did a great job because if you look at the earpiece on this 2019, he made sure that, and I know it, I know it's funny calling them ears, but that's what I call them. He made sure that the ear, you hear my grandbaby in the background, sorry about that, y'all. He made sure that the ear is sticking out fully on this. I mean, look look at the, look at the uh, shape of the six, man, and the toe box as well. We'll get to that in a minute, but. Look at the shape of the six. The, the ear is sticking out like it's supposed to, meaning that on the side you can even press in on them if you wanted to. He definitely hit that right. And if you see the 3M pieces in the back, look like they're deeper because it is, because it sticks out more, pokes out more. 2014, you see here, it doesn't poke out as much. And you push on it, it's like nothing to push in on. It doesn't even move. I mean, you can see that. It doesn't even move, y'all, look at that. It's flat. It's really, really flat. Look at that. It's not coming out from the side much at all. Would you look at the 2019? I mean, just look at both of them. Look how far they're sticking out. So they definitely hit on the shape of the ears of the sixes. All right. <clears throat> Turn it around. 2019 pair toe box. 2014 pair on the toe box. You see right here, first off, the toe boxes look different, okay? If you put the shoe side by side, um, and I turn it, you see that this toe box on this one is a lot shorter. This one right here comes out, hooks down. This one, flat, comes all the way out. The shape of this six is dead on to the 1991 version. I think it was 91. 91, 90. One of the, yeah, I think 91 when it came out, uh, version of the OG6. So they definitely hit it. You can't tell on the camera also, but this right here is blacker, a lot dark, a lot darker black than uh, the 2014 pair. So yeah, that's definitely dope. And then the inside, you got Nike Air in here. Let me see if I can pull it open. I don't know if you can see that. Anyways, it's Nike Air in the inside of that one. And in here, you got the Jumpman, which is still there, by the way. So, I can tell you right now, I'm gonna sell this pair because I don't think I need it. So I'm gonna sell this pair, and this pair definitely, um, the double up on this pair, definitely. I mean, texture-wise, let's see. Both of them have that 3M on it, texture-wise. To me, about the same texture, just a darker shade of black, man. So, your boy had to reach out and get these things. Uh, definitely my favorite six. Just wanted to show you that I did pick up my pair, and here it is, uh, what is today, Tuesday? Tuesday, uh, 219 of 19, the year 19. So, these released on a Saturday, I believe, this past Saturday. Just let you know how many pair they got, and I think they just done a restock of these as well. So if you haven't got a pair, you're gonna have plenty of chances to get a pair. No reason to go um, hit resale. I don't think just, I mean, it should be some set in stores. I actually had um, Hibbets order these. These actually sold out other than a couple pair when my boy, me and Rob went on the other video. And I had him order me another pair of these things from Memphis, Tennessee that sent them down here. So shout out to them, man. They were able to get them. I said, why not? Okay, so that's it, man. Y'all comment down below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, make sure y'all stay tuned for more videos to be dropped.
I'm tired. I just got off work. <laughs> oh, with that being said, uh, shout out to uh, my friend, uh, my homeboy Drew, uh, and his, uh, boss Drew actually. And uh, shout out to him, man. Uh, my my condolences go out to him and his family. He just lost his uncle today, so y'all put some prayer hands down in the comments below. It's always a hard time when you lose somebody in your family. So put some prayer hands down below for me on that. And until next time, y'all stay tuned. Peace.